did it. Yeah. My, my lifestyle had gone wrong. Uh, and then, you know, Brother Terrence was about to rub off on me because he was talking about, you know, cooking pig ears and pig tails and pig feet. <laughs> And he was doing it, and he was doing it so passionately. You could even. Uh, you were blood. already there. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then he talked about he has high blood pressure, and I'm hanging right there. <laughs> I said, I said, okay. And so I, I just said all of that. You're with the wrong people. Yeah, I'm yeah. the wrong people. <laughs> smell everything in pack Who is push. it? Push. <laughs> push back. <laughs> I need to push back. <laughs> yes, I heard a pastor on the radio he say today time. that he got food poisoning five times, and he said that's just the hazard of being a pastor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I, was, I could tell y'all a joke, but Sister Wonder would tell me. <laughs> Amen. That was a pastor who went to this sister's house and uh, <laughs> Go ahead, tell me. <laughs> and, uh, and he took a younger pastor with him, young, a, young, a younger minister with him, and, 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 and he was sitting down ministering to the sister. And, uh, and the young minister was a bunch of peanuts sitting up in a bowl. And he asked the sister, he said, can I eat these peanuts? And she said, oh, just help yourself to them. She said, it's hard for me to, I can't chew them, so just help yourself. And he started eating them. And, and while the older minister and him was talking, the older minister and the lady was talking, the young man, without knowing it, he had eaten up all of the peanuts. And uh, when, it, when the conversation was over, uh, he realized what he had done, and he was so apologetic. He said, ma'am, oh, I'm so sorry. I ate all of your peanuts. And she said, oh, son, that's OK. Amen. Uh, after I sucked the chocolate off of her, Joyful noise unto him. 
look at now I just want if, if you want to if you have a Bible that you take notes with look at uh, 2 Corinthians chapter number 4 and verse number 7 and you can just put that as a reference there whoever find it first would you read it aloud 2 Corinthians 4 and 7 well, we have this treasure in earthen vessels. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. In what? Earthen vessels. Look at the land. We made dirt. We made dirt. Oh, oh, we're we're made made the earth. Ah! We're made of the earth. But we have what treasure in earthen vessels? This treasure. This treasure. Which, what is this treasure? The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Yep. Amen. <laughs> we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Amen. That the glory would not be of us, but be of God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 All right. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye Amen. earthen vessels. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> glory to God. Serve the Lord with gladness. Serve the Lord with gladness. Now, this is a little bit deeper than just happiness. Because gladness is, I'm talking about, is, is something that's a little bit deeper yeah. than just a smile on your face. I'm talking about gladness, something had to make you glad. Yeah. I'm talking about just a funny face can make you smile, but something good got to make you glad. Yeah. Yes. Something that you perceive that is good, that's what makes you glad. So he says, serve the Lord with gladness. Yes. Can everybody say, sir? Sir. 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 Again, sir. Sir. Again, sir. Sir. Now, service is what really makes life good. Make service is service is something else. If you go to a restaurant and that restaurant is A1 quality, but the service is bad, the food is good, but the service is bad. What do you say? I think I'll come back. I ain't paying for this one. I'm not coming back. I'm talking about the ambiance is five star. It's not a good restaurant. It's not a good restaurant. Why? Because the service, the service is bad. The server, the service. Amen. You don't go back there. But you go to one where the ambiance is not all of that, where the food is just, you know, might not be all of that, but let the service be good. Do you know what? <laughs> you be ready to tip. I'm talking about you want to tip more than the bill is worth. Because the service does what? Make you feel good about yourself. Yeah. Yeah, the service is really what it's all about. You know, one time I was out, I was out running, and the Lord stopped me in my tracks, you know. You know when you're running, you don't want to stop for nothing. But I had to stop and put my hands up and praise the Lord. The Lord spoke to my spirit. It was just like this. I could see heaven open. And the Lord said that when you serve me right, he said that, you know, he said that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. The Lord, it was like I could see it. He said that I'm not just talking about time-based waiting on me. I'm more talking about service-based. I'm talking about they that wait. Come on now. Put the, put the tray on your hand and wait now. Sir, they that wait upon me. Come on now, waiters. They that wait upon me. Amen. Making sure that the atmosphere for me is right. They did. I'm talking about church. Brother Greg, I'm talking about you just brought it. You know, we could have easily, you could have easily just said, it's time for service, and we're going to just go on and have fast and we're going to come on up. But you didn't do that. You made the atmosphere. Cause, because I'm talking about, we, we could have easily just stepped into this thing here, amen, with the atmosphere of, fear and a little bit trepidation and a little bit concerned about this and that.
But you made us forget about all of that. 